we are doing a review on a projector. It cost me just under £200 and it's sold by a company called Apeman. And I have a dash cam by Apeman, funny enough. So uh, I thought 200 quid, it's got to be a bargain in it, hopefully anyway. So it can do up to a screen size of 300 inches. I think it says inches, I'm hoping it says inches. This is baby here. So nicely packaged by uh, Amazon. Not too big, not too small. Let's have a quick look about it first. It looks like it's had a bit of a battering. But there it is. Haven't got a screen for it yet, but wanted to see how good this was before I bought myself a screen. But we will be testing it on a wall and it should work just fine. So this is the LC650 video projector. Ideal for office and, you know, for the home as well. So let's have a quick look around the box. And nothing really I see. So it's got a little handle. Oh, here we go. So it's a 1080 and it's 4K ready so but ideally it is 1080 1080 is its native resolution it has a 300 inch maximum display so i was right it's 5000 to 1 contrast ratio and 50,000 hours led life so the bulb will last 50,000 hours or that's what they're predicting home cinema office presentations impressive brightness private movie time for families excellent performance on businesses enjoyable experience at day and night hopefully anyway and the reason you might want to go for this little baby and i'll give you a quick example it has digital keystone correction equipped with advanced plus or minus 25 horizontal and vertical digital keystone correction basically you can straighten it up that way and that way and it's all adjustable on the remote control you can go up to 300 screen size, which is, you know, massive. I've got a 55 inch TV and, you know, you can go up to 300 inches on this little baby and that is it. Anti-dust and low noise, so it's got a new design in it so to keep the noise down and it's anti-dust as well. So uh, with that, let's get her out of the box and see what she actually looks like. It weighs 2.3 kilograms. So we've got it. That'll be all your leads. It has had a bit of a battery, hasn't it? Yes. But it's nicely wrapped by them. And hopefully that should be it. Put a label in there, that'd be that'd be a hello and a thank you. So I'll do the uh, unboxing of that in a minute. Let's have a quick look around at this. So dear Mr. Yes, a thank you thing. Stay my desk. So it says eight man on there, that's your focus adjustment. Do not look into the lens. That's the lens cover. Du, du, du. Leave it on for now to protect it. That must be the on off button. And what we have here, HDMI connection, you have one of. Uh, USB, you have two of. And AV and auxiliary and a power connection and then some writing on the bottom and you have some mounting points i do believe it comes with a little leg which goes there somewhere or is it already in there i don't know i think that pops out i will have a look something there as well well i'll have to have a read up of it so it's got speaker i'm assuming it has a speaker in it it's got plenty of air vents that's for sure which is good so yeah first impressions I like the look of it, it looks nice, it looks very professional. Let's have a look, see what leads you get. So, remote control, as you'd expect. Get out the bag, that's quite nice. Quite light as well. So, uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Menu, mute. I will have to have a good read up on it. So, AV connections. Hopefully, I won't need them. Socket. Looks like a fairly long lead. I would guess about 
five meters, something like that. Looking at it, I will have a measure up for you as well. It won't be extremely long. Yeah, I'll say about one point five. So hopefully I've got that right. And one HDMI cable. And of course the manual in multilingo. Yes. Hopefully it won't be too much to read. Because I just want to get on with it and play about with it. So that is everything. That is everything you get. So with that, let's do the installation. I'll never read the instructions, then do the installation. But yeah, looks very nice. Right, a couple of things to bear in mind before we talk about the projector itself. One is, this is a magnolia wall, and I hang pictures on this wall normally, but I took them off just to try it out and see what it looks like. So I wanted to show you that first and explain to you that that is not a white wall. Ideally, you would run a projector screen or something like that, or a white wall. And the other thing is, uh, behind the camera, there is a big window letting in a lot of light. It's daylight at the moment, although this room is quite dark, there is a lot of light coming through into this room. So you might find it's a little bit washed out. I will show you some video of it at night time as well, you know, in the dark so you get a better view of it. Right, now let's talk about the projector. In fact, let's talk about the remote control of this little baby here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Well, you probably can. Let's see how easy it was to set up. So I'm going to quickly show you, I'm going to uh, go into the menu and you've got picture mode. So picture mode, if you just press the right button on the controller, it will go to different modes. So sound, so if you want to adjust sound, just go up and down. And if you want to do the clock, I haven't done the clock yet because I haven't fitted it in where it's going to go. I haven't decided exactly where it's going to go yet, but We've got a rough idea of where we're going to be putting it, and that will be for a future video. So if you want to adjust your clock or anything like that, set up your timer, sleep time, or anything like that, you go in there. If you want to go to the next scene, you just press the right button, uh, do your language, do your keystone. If you don't know what a keystone is, it's this little baby up here. This is your horizontal and your vertical, so try and get it it levels so it'll either swivel like that or it'll swivel backwards and forwards like that. That is what that is for. And uh, yeah, it's quite easy to do. And then you've got rotation, this little baby here. This is, if you've got your projector on the ceiling and it's upside down, you'll want to go into this mode to turn it the right way up. And also if you want to change it from left to right as well. As I think there's four different options you can do on that. And then obviously you can do a software update and things like that. And colour temperature, I've got it set on medium at the moment, aspect ratio, I've left it on auto, but you can change that to 4.3 or 16.9, and I think that's on um, I think that's on 16.9 as you can see. So that's what that does. Reduce display, so it's set on 100%, so you could actually make it smaller if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it like that. Talking about display, I have had a measure up and it's approximately 51 inches long and 29 inches high. That is how I've got it set up at the moment. I did not do any standard sizes. I just got it where I wanted it and thought, well, that's what good enough where I want to test it. And it even tells you the temperature of the actual unit. It's running at 45C at the moment. And you can feel warm air coming out from the right hand side. Quite a bit of warm air actually. And there is a little bit of noise coming from the uh, unit itself. It's not, it's not too loud. It's not a off-putting noise neither. It's just like a little humming noise. Let's see if my mic can pick it up. Sounds a bit like my computer is running normally. Well, they're actually running now. Sounds a bit like my computer, like I said. So that is basically all the settings, the clock, you got. So navigation and setting it up was really easy. Well, I found it very easy. In fact, I found it so easy, I didn't even read the book. I just had a quick glance over the book and thought, well, it looks quite easy. So yeah, my first impressions for a budget 
projector, I think it's fantastic. I'm really, imp I'm really impressed. It's better than I expected. It is a little bit washed out in the colours, and like I said, that is because it's daylight's on the wrong wall, which should be a white wall, and it is a budget projector. If, and it is designed for things like conferences or even a family. It will not do 4K, it, will, it is ready for 4K, but ideally it's designed for the budget home. I mean, look at that, that's lovely, isn't it? Nice bit of greenery there, looks a bit too green actually. You can, like I said, you can go into the settings, mess about, so the vivid, picture mode, vivid, temperatures, medium, click on that, colour temperature, medium, warm, user, user mode, or cool. Let me cue some of these on and go to some next ones, just so you can get an idea of basically what she looks like. Like I said, there is a big window behind us, so there is a lot of daylight coming through, but it's pretty good. The speakers I have muted for now because of copyright, we didn't want to do any copyright sounds. What we're going to do now is about 10 to 7 in the evening, so it's getting dark, and I think it's dark enough to see how good or how bad this projector is at showing a video. So uh, with that, we'll get on with it, and it's going to be one of my videos. So sorry about that, but it's copyright free because, you know, I made it. It actually comes up with a preview as well. What do you think then? I really liked it. You know, you do need the light off to get the best out of it, but if you're in a conference, it is okay because nine times out of ten, most of conferences are going to be text and, you know, budget videos. They're not going to be high quality videos where you're going to be watching a blockbuster movie. But you can easily watch a blockbuster movie on that in the evening. I thought the picture quality was excellent in the evening, you know, in the dark. That is brilliant for watching his favourite sci-fi or action movie, anything like that. It works a treat. And it goes up to 300 inches. That is humongous. Yeah, 300 inches. All right, we've done it on a, not a white wall, but we've done it and we tried it and it works. So I will be ordering a projector screen <laughs> and be rearranging one of my rooms to try and fit it all in and uh, do a nice job. Yeah, I am really pleased. For £200, it definitely gets my thumbs up. I thought it was excellent, it looks good, it looks professional, it's watchable. It, like I said, it's not perfect. Some of the brightness on the whites were a little bit overpowering, but that is, you know, 
that is a bit of tinkering. You will have to tinker to get it right. And I think I've got it nearly right, it's nearly perfect, or well, always close to being perfect for the uh, amount of money you're paying. So uh, with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I thought it was good.